So we're going to go live to Meg Ferris. She is at the convention center, outside the convention center there um, for the extravaganza. Meg, what, what can you tell us yeah. so far? Okay, yeah, I, I don't need somebody, you know what I'm saying? Okay, thank you very much. We're just getting set up out here. We decided to come to the New Orleans Convention Center, where, of course, the Endemian Extravaganza is this year because the Superdome is being redone. And those first float, 13 floats are rolling, and we, we're seeing people in their evening gowns, their ball gowns, getting ready to go in. And I stopped you. You're getting ready to go in. What is your name? Fallon. And you just, how did you hear about this, this tragedy? Friends actually texted me because they knew I was coming and they just wanted to let me know what happened. And they were like, it's crazy. So. What did all your friends who you're getting ready to go in the, the yeah. extravaganza, what, how, what was their reaction to the fatality? It, they just don't understand it. Like, I mean, it's, it's, it's simple. It's Mardi Gras, you know, stay out the way, catch beads, don't get in front of a moving bus. So, you know, I don't. I'm sad for his family and everything, but I just, I, I've never heard of it. The two is just crazy. That's what you were saying. You're 27. The last one was 38 years ago, well before you were born. And now within less than a week, there have been two fatalities hit by a Mardi Gras float. Yeah, I just really think it's crazy. I just don't understand. Like, I don't know if they're drinking. Like, you have to, like, question, like, are they drinking? Is there something else involved? Because it's just, I'm not saying they're dumb there because they're not it's just crazy I've never heard of that uh, emotional level did this kind of I know you with a whole group did this kind of put a damper or it's kind of changed the mood of the whole group going into party it really does because you know because now you have to think about their family you're you I mean it's it's pretty much ruined the night because you only get 13 floats and I mean we come here and we expected nothing to put it you know a damper on the night and it really did yeah well, thank you for taking time out, and I know your your group is waiting for you. you. Yes. So, so we'll be here at the New Orleans Convention Center getting reaction from people who have come here to go to the extravaganza. Um, we are hearing that a lot of people here know, of course, because of social media and that type of thing. I did talk to someone with another organization who is um, uh, called to say the media. We need. There's much more to be learned. Why, you know, these, some of these floats can cost seven hundred, eight hundred thousand dollars. These tandem floats. What's going to happen with Bacchus? What's going to happen with Orpheus on Monday night when all this money has already been spent? Um, and they can they not roll these tandem floats out of the den? Um, you know, with the announcement that Chief Ferguson made a little earlier. So I am hearing from people who I know in other crews who have a lot of questions. They want to know was the Mardi Gras Council called? Um, and, and talk to, to think of other solutions possibly before um, a knee-jerk reaction of not having any tandem floats. But of course, this is what's unfolding. We don't know. I don't have the answers to these. These are just questions that people who are part of putting on the greatest free show on earth are calling and asking and wondering what's going to happen. And I'm sure much more of that's going to be unfolding with the mayor, the uh, NOPD, as we get more facts about all this. And, and here at Channel 4, we are, we are digging into all these things. And of course, we'll be following this on social media, WWLTV.com. So stay with us and we'll bring you a lot more and a lot more reaction from these people who are members of Endemian and have come here tonight. Back to you.